Let's begin to be in the atmosphere of worship. Hallelujah. Mm. Begin to worship the King of Kings, the Lord of God, the everlasting glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. To worship the King of Kings, Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh,
to be in the presence of the Lord this evening. If you are happy and you are glad that the Lord Almighty has counted you worthy among the living, a lot of people have the same plan you had. A lot of people, you know, they plan the same thing you did, but they are not opportune to be alive. But you are here, hell and healthy. You are here. You pick the date. The date is here. And you are standing before the Lord Almighty. If you know you are in the sanctuary and not in the mortuary, can you shout hallelujah? Amen. Come on now. Let's go. Let us give our last offering unto the Lord. Break it down, break it down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me hear the house. 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 Hallelujah. If you're happy to be at this evening, hallelujah. What you say? We hate around the universe. What 
I shovel in the garden, even the day. Say no to me. I shovel in the garden. Everybody knows. Say that you don't know why I shovel in the garden. I shovel in the garden. Hey. I shovel in the garden.
But no man can do you no What no man can do to you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are saying, We give you. God bless you. You can have a seat. God bless you. No. Praise the Lord. The choir will be ministering um, two songs to bless the Lord and to bless your soul. Amen. Amen.
windows shining bright Letting in God's heavenly light Bless the heart a blessing there With smoke ascending like a prayer Bless the folk who dwell within Keep them pure and free from sin Bless us all that we may be Fit, O oh Lord, to dwell with Thee Bless us all that one day we may Let somebody shout hallelujah. I believe that your hallelujah should be more glorious than that. Can let somebody shout a living hallelujah. Tell somebody by your side that something new is about to happen in your life. Make it louder than that. With Jesus joy in your heart. I'm very excited to welcome to the pulpit our father, our prophet, the one who loved us with the all of his heart in the person of our father and the Lord, the general of ourselves. God bless you. Shout hallelujah. Please, please have your seat. God bless you. Uh, first of all, I bring you greetings from my wonderful wife. Uh, <laughs> who has asked me to pray for all of you here. That as you are dedicating this place today, new things, greater things will begin to happen in your lives. Uh, and it's so wonderful to have many of our fathers in the Lord here. Pastor A.J. Pastor Ajila is here. God bless you. You are welcome. Pastor Wale is here. Pastor Tayo is here, and Pastor Kaode, your mega region of Versailles is here. And we congratulate Pastor Victor and the wonderful wife. Pastor Nitu is here, Pastor Limidoni, and his wonderful wife, they are here. Can you please rise up and wave at them, all of you? They're the principal region of Versailles. And our wonderful wife. God bless you, Jesus. All the pastors say, can you rise up and wave at the congregation? God bless us to do so. God bless us to do so. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, actually, my function here is over. <laughs> I've been invited to dedicate the church, uh, which is what I've done. So, so, let me just share one or two things with you before I go. Can you rise your feet now? Take any song of praises in your own mouth. And sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Any song of praises. Just speak any song and sing it loud. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, rain it. 
the Lord reigneth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For the Lord our God, O many poor child, he reigneth in my The Lord is God. The mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia. Oh, you are the mighty God, you are the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia. You are the mighty God, the great I am. He has broken the gates of Rasta and caused the pass of my army. Sunday, he has broken the gates of Rasta and caused the pass of my army. He has broken. He has broken the gates of Rasta and caused the pass of my army. for this gathering and we thank you for this sanctuary. Father, I decree by the decree of heaven that the blood of Jesus will overshadow this sanctuary in the name of Jesus. Uh, when the sick gets inside this building, let them receive their healings in the name of Jesus. When the unlucky walks into this place, let them become fortunate in the name of Jesus. When any bondage moves into this place, let the bondages be broken in the name of Jesus. To you, Father, be the glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Stretch your two hands, your two hands towards me at the altar here. Father, we are gathered here as your children to celebrate and to thank you for what you have done for this assembly. Father, as many as are stretching for their hands now, the kind of blessings that will come upon their lives to mark this day a present from the Almighty. Father, place it on their hands in the name of Jesus. Any challenge that anybody may be facing here, let those challenges become testimonies in the name of Jesus. To you, Father, be the glory. Lay your hands upon your people. At the end of the day, let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please have your seats for just a few minutes. God bless you. I'm reading from the book of Luke, chapter 1. 
Luke, the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 1, your breakthrough and your mouth, your breakthrough and your mouth. Luke 1 from verse 5. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zechariah. Of the cause of Abia, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. Meaning that you could be a friend of God, and still have trouble. They were walking righteously, no sin, obeying the commandments. They were blameless. Yet, there was a challenge. Not that. Christianity does not give you, give you exempt ticket from the troubles of life. Salvation does not exempt you from the troubles of life. But it gives you weapon to fight it. It is fightable. It gives you weapon to fight it. You learn that lesson from them. And they had no child because Elizabeth was barren and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his cause, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. Now in those days, to go into the Holy of Holies to offer sacrifice was a very dangerous assignment. So dangerous that uh, people have died there. Uh, and nobody is allowed to go there. So if somebody dies in that Holy of Holies, you can't even go and fetch the cops. So what I do is to tie a rope to the waist of the priest. Long rope with some tiny, tiny bells jingling on that rope. So while the bell is jingling, they know the man is still alive. <laughs> no, he's, he's doing something, he's still alive. Because on occasions, angels of God have come to that holy of holies to kill people there because of their sin or they were born in strange fires before God. So he kills them there. So we are not even allowed to enter. So it was, this is where Zechariah was. And then something unusual happened to him. And I pray that that will happen to you today in Jesus' name. And there appeared unto him an angel of God standing in the right side of the altar of incense. I decree that all the angels of your breakthrough assigned to you shall locate you in the name of Jesus. They shall locate you in the name of Jesus. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him because he thought the end has come. What's an angel do here? When the angel comes to the Holy of Holies to kill the priest that you have done rubbish, you are gone. So he was scared. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zechariah, for thy prayer is heard. And thy wife Elizabeth shall bear a son, their son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt love joy and gladness. Look at all the description the angel gave to this man. He shall bear thee a son, thou shalt call his name John. Number one, thou shalt have joy and gladness. Two, many shall rejoice at his birth. Three, for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord. Four, he shall drink neither wine nor straw drink five. He shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb. It is possible for a baby to be filled with the Holy Ghost even from the mother's womb. The reverse is also true. It is possible for a baby to be filled with witchcraft spirit even from the mother's womb. Any baby can be filled with anything even from the mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall turn to the Lord their God. Six. And he shall go before him in the spirit 
and power of Elijah to turn the eyes of the fathers to the children, disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready for a people, for the Lord, a people prepared. So, so you can see what the list of what this guy, this baby would do. Long list. This angel took time to, to relate to uh, Zechariah. What was the response of Zechariah? Zechariah opened his mouth. <laughs> And Zechariah said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know that know this? For I'm an old man, and my wife is well stricken in years. And the angel got upset and answered him, said unto him, He, he reintroduced himself, I'm Gabriel. Gabriel, that stand in the presence of God. And I'm sent to speak unto thee and to show thee this glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed. Because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. Then what happened? And the people waited for Zechariah and marveled that they had tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them. And they perceived that he had seen the vision in the temple, for he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. What happened was this the miracle of Zechariah will have disappeared. If he continues saying what he's saying. So the angel punished him to help him. By just closing his mouth. Because if he continues to talk like that. I'm old. I can't have the children. I'm old. My wife is old. That's how the miracle will disappear. What am I trying to tell you? Without a breakthrough. You remain where you are. Jacob had a breakthrough. That's how we're reading. Surely the Lord is in this place. That's how they changed his name to Israel. Jabez had a breakthrough. That's how we're reading about him. This man, blind Bartimaeus, crying to Jesus to receive his sight, had a breakthrough. That's how we're reading about him. So everyone needs one breakthrough or the other. Everyone. A single breakthrough can change your life forever. Just what? can change your life forever. It is therefore important that you understand that everything is made of words. Words. Words can be audible. Words can be inaudible. You may say, but I didn't say it, but you have said it already. Your heart. You said it already in your heart. It's like that brother I was kidnapped in Nigeria and taken to a forest and the saw Amen. Amen. So this brother was kidnapped and they led them into a forest and he saw them killing people. So he started praying. Started praying. As he was praying, 
those who were doing the rituals were getting confused. They were making mistakes. So they now came to where they, they saw him talking. They said, excuse me, sir. You are saying something. Now stop talking. The, when you talk, we get confused. So don't say anything. Just keep your mouth shut. If you talk again, that's a problem. So the brother kept quiet. But he was praying in his heart. They went back to their rituals. They got even more confused. They came back to him and said, excuse me. What we ask you not to say, you are saying it <laughs> inside. So words can be audible or inaudible. So what he was saying inside was affecting what they were doing. Until the Lord confused them as I said, this brother free. So the heart will perceive what the mouth is manufacturing. And when you say something in your mouth, the whole of your system agrees with what you are saying. And this is a great problem for many people who are praying for breakthroughs. The words you speak in your mouth is essential for your breakthroughs. And many dreams are aborted because of what we say and what we do not say. Others are aborted by bad words, wrong kinds of words. And if they continue to say those words, failure will follow. When you begin to appropriate evil to yourself, you truncate your own breakthrough. Words like, I don't think I can make it. This is this headache, my headache, my migraine, my diabetes, my hypertension. As far as you could say, my, my, my. Then it's okay, fine. You are signing for it. So you get it, you repeat it. Standing for it. But the more positive words you say, the faster your breakthrough follows. So you don't only create with positive words, you create also with negative words. When the words are positive, angels of God will come and assist you. When it's negative, demons will come and torment you. Your mouth is important for your breakthrough. A dramatic process is engineered anytime we speak. And many people think, just talk anyhow. If you are talking anyhow, then I feel so sorry for you. If you talk 200 words per minute, no break, no jam, I feel sorry for you too. So you make up your mind today that you will only speak words that are positive to your life. That you won't be speaking the negative, negative words that will get you into trouble. This is what this angel did to help Zechariah, to shut him down. Because if he continues to talk like this, he will talk himself out of the miracles. A lot of people come to church, they pray, they receive breakthrough, but they talk themselves out of it. They talk themselves out of, out of it. Some talk themselves out of it at the car park. He has received some breakthroughs in the meeting, then somebody upset him at the car park, and he begins to shout and scream, talking himself out of it. And that has affected so many believers. So if you don't get anything from what I'm saying today, know that your mouth and your deliverance and your breakthroughs, they are linked together. And you must be careful what you say with those mouths. Many people who are busy praying against witches and wizards, really their problem is not witches and wizards. Your problem is what you have been saying since yesterday about your life. Saying about your life, well, I don't think this will work. I don't think that will work. I don't think this is uh, uh, going to be possible. As far as you keep confessing impossibility, it becomes impossible. You confess positive, it becomes positive. Even in the face of what looks like failure, when you continue to say positive things, it happens. How was the examination? Hmm, I don't know. Or like my friend, I used to have a friend in those days when I was in University of Reading studying for my PhD. He came from Zimbabwe. His, his name is Sibanda. He said, Sibanda, how are you? He would say, the struggle continues. 
They won't stop there. I said the struggle continues until victory or defeat or both. <laughs> if we say good money, we won't say good money. Zimbada, good morning, how are you? Say, the struggle continues. So you are confessing struggle to continue. Trouble to continue. Take that away from here today and change the way you talk, the way you address people. A child is not doing well, you keep saying you are an idiot. You are a bastard. You are like your father. You are like your mother. You are not doing well. This, this and that. You are a failure. When you keep saying that, the enemy will say, fine, very good. That's what you want to keep saying. Use your anointed mouth to talk yourself out of your breakthrough. The enemy will sign it for you. Bow down your heads, beloved. And within these few minutes, if you have been misusing your mouth, tell the Lord you are sorry. And that uh, beginning from now, you will now use your mouth to cancel your breakthroughs like Zechariah wanted to do. wanted to cancel his own breakthroughs. Talk to the Lord yourself. rise your feet now. Before we depart from here, there are seven breakthrough prayers I want you to pray. And I want you to pray it, believing God that God will touch you at this dedication service. Close your eyes. Don't joke with these prayers. Already there is the presence of the Almighty all over this place. And I'm, I'm sure as you cry to him in prayers like Black Bartimaeus, he will answer your prayer. Say, Power, sir! Power. Pushing my blessings to the back. Pushing my blessings to the back. Can you say that loud and clear? Oh, God, I lie. Oh, God, I, lie. I will waste them in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. It. Pushing my blessings to the back. Oh God, arise and waste them in the name of Jesus. Somebody's breaking through with these prayers. In Jesus' name, we pray. So power, sir that I vowed that I will not celebrate. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number three. It may sound strange, but don't let anybody's words be louder than yours. Garment of silent death. Garment of silent death. Don't think any infirmities in your body to play. They are there to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Can you shout this loud? Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. The garments are blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Say strange battles, strange battles. that are saying my story will not change. Can you say that loud and clear? Jesus. 
thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The brethren of Joseph, they say, let us kill him and see what becomes of his dream. Powers assigned to kill my positive dreams. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number six. Anything in my life. Say no to my angels of breakthrough. Can you say it loud and clear? Die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, let your fire fall upon your children here. Give them uncommon testimonies. Uncommon breakthroughs. This time we pray for Pastor Victor and his wife and the members of this church that he shall continue to be well with them. In the name of Jesus. Now look for a partner. Look for somebody. Ask for the name of the person. If he's not telling you the name, look for somebody else. Aha. Now turn to close your eyes and point at that person. You will shout his name loud and clear. Brother Daniel! Hear the word of the Lord! Arise and shout! In the name of Jesus!
let us lift up our two hands and begin to bless our Heavenly Father. Let us thank A for the life of his servant and his household. Our Father in the Lord, Dr. D. Kyolukoya, the General Overseer and the President of the Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministries worldwide. Let us thank God for the lives of all, for the lives of our AGO and all our ASRO and their families and all the ROs and their families, all the pastors and their household. Let us thank God for all the ministers, all the workers, and all the members and all the attendees for what the Lord God has done in our lives. It shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let us close our eyes and share the grace in fellowship. Let's go. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and his mercy are following us all the days of our lives and we are dwelling in the house and in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. For what God has done for all of us and it is permanent in the name of Jesus. Let us shout 21 fire brand new open heavens. Hallelujah. Let's go. Louder. Lada, 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 Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. God bless you all. We thank all our ASRO, all our PRO, our mommies from Atlanta, Georgia, Florida, from New, uh, New Jersey here. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. God bless you all. We appreciate your coming from Delaware. We appreciate your coming. God bless you all. God bless you all from uh, Texas. God bless you. God bless mommy, mommy. God bless all our daddies. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Have a wonderful and blessed night. Choir, please. Choir, please. We come before you today. Praise the Lord. Mommy. Offering. Offering. Please do not go. Ensure that you put your offering in the bag. Begin to bless us. Bring set things inside it for this day, for new foundation, for greater, greater things to happen. From this month of September, it starts with goodness. It will end with praise in the name of Jesus. Make sure you don't go home without dropping your offering, your tithes, your covenant, even with this that has happened. God Almighty will build your own house for you in the name of Jesus. Ushers, please kindly go around, go around, go around, go around. Make sure that no one miss their own blessing. Mariba Centra, yes. Mariba in about Mariba Sete. The hand of givers never go down. You will not come to the house of the living God with an empty hand. You must say to Abba. And as we are going forth, you will come back with breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, pray over it. Tap into the anointing of this day. That our Father in the Lord clap this altar. Yes, so.
Huh? <laughs> I like New Jersey. Garden City. Huh? Hey, things are happening. I love New Jersey. Your garden shall be watered. Your garden shall be fruitful. In the mighty name of Jesus. All the breakthroughs that we have taken today will not be for vain in Jesus' name. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for dropping your offering. You have to end it with praise, oh. Oh yeah, we won't be for you today. And there is one thing I ever want to say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
Joshua Ebi. You won't dance with Joshua Ebi. Ah, oh yeah, my boy. Don't go on.
When the spirit of the Lord is upon my soul. When the spirit of the Lord is upon my soul. 